name is Mrs. Kim, Deborah P. Kim. I used to be a substitute here before, but now I come every Monday with my husband, Coach Kim, Samuel Kim. We lead the Covenant Youth Club every Monday at lunchtime. Raise your hand if you're from CYC. Yeah. So this is our CYC time. We're like one family. We come and we do Bible study and we learn about God's Word. So we're happy to have everyone here. Today I'm here to talk about how we can help stop bullying at Lakeside. Who would like to see no bullying at Lakeside? Yeah, I would love to see that too. Let me tell you something before I start. Did you know yesterday somebody was arrested in Florida for posting a threat to shoot up their school? They were arrested on a second degree felony account. And that person was 13 years old. Okay? Who's 13? Anybody 13? All right. Guess what? This year, 2024, more than 700 kids were arrested. Okay? In one state, Georgia, 700 kids were arrested for posting online threats to shoot up their school. Okay? So is this a serious problem? Yeah, no, the kid who was arrested yesterday, 13 year old, they didn't have any firearms, it was just a threat. But they said, why did you do that? You still have to pay the consequences. You know what he said? He or she, I'm tired of being bullied. So wait, this person who was a victim of bullying is now so angry, they're gonna bully the rest of the school by shooting them? That's not a solution, is it? Bullying is actually a relationship issue. It's a relationship problem. And guess what? All bullies start off as victims. Say it. All bullies, all bullies. Start, off start off as victims. As victims. That's right. No one wakes up in the morning as a child and says, when I grow up, I'm going to be a bully. Nobody wakes up in the morning as a kid and says, I want to be a victim. Nobody says that. So we can actually stop bullying together. We're going to learn how to do that. And like I promised, if you stay focused to the very end, I will give you something. A small little, small little gift. Okay, sit up please. A small little gift so that you can remember the things that we talked about. So what is bullying? <clears throat> remember, bullying before. Oh, I saw bullying happen around me. Yeah, this, so bullying is not just somebody making fun of you one time. That's not bullying. Bullying has to be where it's repeated. Repeated aggression, where you're going to see people leaving you out, spreading lies, calling names, threatening to harm, punching, kicking, even stealing from you, and even cyberbullying. Nobody wants to be bullied. But I'm going to show you. Let's show a little skit. Okay, we have some friends who are helping us today. They're going to show you what it looks like to be bullied. Okay, let's show. Smaller than them, 
weaker than them. And when they're doing that, they feel better about themselves. But does that really help? It doesn't really help. What about this person? What do we call this person? The victim, right. The victim constantly gets hurt. Maybe they feel powerless whenever they get bullied, right? You, you lose your power, and if this happens to you all the time, maybe you're thinking, this will always happen to me. There's no hope for me. And they feel very, very hopeless. This person lives with power under. Okay? Power under. Both, listen, both the bully and the victim need connection. They need something. Who wants to live like this power over person? You want to live like that? Do you want to live like this? Power under? You want to live like a victim? Have a victim mind? Oh, I'm unhappy because everyone else treats me like this. There's actually a better way, guys. What we need is something called... Read it with me. No, I'm not. I'm not dumb. Okay, he's not dumb. Maybe you didn't study, that's not right. Parker, you're so ugly. Look at your hair. Look at your clothes. I'm not ugly. Lucky? I'm a 10. Oh, yeah, you're a 10. And if I say, Parker, no one likes you. You have no friends. I do have friends. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's not letting. Hey, okay, he's not letting other people define him. So what does he really say? Personal power says what? No one can make me upset without my permission, partner. All right. Let everyone say it together. No one can make me upset without. No one can make me upset without my permission. Do you think he can remember that? Okay, but listen, you have this personal power. It's actually inside of you. You have it in you, but some people, they don't know they have it. So the, whatever people say about you, you're fat, you're ugly, you're dumb. We think it's true. Hey, sometimes your own parents say that to you. My mom said I was dumb. Yeah? Okay? It's because it's 
because they don't know how to be a star. You have to be a star in order for you to have good decisions, control your emotions, and access the personal power. Can you try that right now? One more time. Ready? Be a star. Ready? Stop. Take a deep breath. And relax. That's right. So when you do that, okay, when you are a star, okay, what you're really saying to yourself is this. Hey, I am safe. I am calm. I can handle this. I'm smart. I'm strong. I'm valued. I'm talented. I am loved. Do you believe that? Yeah, you are. Even if one person says something bad to you, we tend to like think about that all day. But that is the thing that we have to do. Let me tell you one thing that you can do, okay? One thing that you can do to stop you from being a bully and stop you from being a powerless victim. I'm gonna show you what it is.
should you do? You should be a? Be a? Yes, you have to be a star. Stop, take a deep breath, and relax. Hey, my mom said I can't sing, but I know she didn't really mean that because I can sing. I'm going to sing a short song for you. When you're feeling really angry, no matter where you are, there's a way to feel better. There's a way to be a star. But there's one thing to remember, you'll stop anger in its tracks. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. See you me. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. Make, make 